Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all this flat twist pinup style that I did. I absolutely love flat twist pinup styles because it really makes your morning stress free because you literally get to get up and go. I am starting off on wash and blow dry hair, but to make this process just a little bit faster, I am going to pre-section my hair into three sections, okay? So I'm gonna have one section on both sides and of course a section in the middle the idea I had in my head is that these flat twists would kind of have more curved parts more than straight parts so I just went ahead and pre-parted my hair just to at least kind of have some guide to how I would put these flat twists in my head those parts squared away it was time for me to go ahead and start on one section now for this section I am only going to make two flat twists okay so I'm literally splitting that section in half but creating a curved part going to the back for this style you will need some jam or some other type of itch control or gel of your choice I prefer jam because it is creamy and it does not flake what you want to do is of course you want to smooth that product into the roots of your hair and this is basically going to give your twist a nice sleek look but it will also give it enough hold for the entire week but this style can last a couple of weeks if you tie your hair up and just keep it nice and tight. I did go ahead and pull out my natural baby hairs because I'm just not trying to break my forehead today um, and I'll swoop those later. But for your flat twist, what you really want to focus on is picking up small sections of hair as you twist your hair to the back. And you do want to make sure that the twist is tight because one thing about twists is that they naturally loosen up on their own. So even though this flat twist looks pretty small right here, trust me, it, was, it is going to naturally loosen up once I take my grip off of the flat twist, okay? So take your time, make sure everything is nice and smooth. And of course you wanna make sure that your hair is definitely thoroughly detangled okay and once you get to the end of the twist you're just going to want to twist all the way down like a regular two strand twist it may not be as tight as you want to the ends because your hair is blow dried but don't worry about that everything is going to be fine And you're gonna wanna go ahead and repeat that process for this section of your hair. Before you move on to the middle section just go ahead and clip those two pieces out of the way because you don't want them to get intertwined with the middle I am also going to be doing two twists in the middle going straight back with somewhat of a curved part I will admit you guys once I got to the middle and to the other side some of my parts they were not as straight as I would like them to be but I didn't stress about it because I know that with flat twists they swell and they get large over time and you really just can't tell okay so continue twisting tightly make sure everything is neat and I want you all to take notice of how these three twists are all going in the same direction meaning that the twists are upright but they are actually going to the other side this is important to note because once we get to the last section which would be partly the front and some of the back, I will be twisting in a different direction. I hope that makes sense, but if it don't, just keep watching because you'll see it in the video. And once 
this, you make it to this front section, which is should be your last section. I'm actually doing three twists in this section because apparently my head is just a little bigger on this side, okay? <laughs> but you want to make sure you are sectioning. This is where you should not get lazy, okay? By the way, I'm still getting over my sickness, so I did get a little lazy over here. But what I want you all to focus on is that I am always flat twisting away from my face. That is how you get the flat twist look in the front and it's not looking weird. So your twist should be going to the back of your head, okay? So even notice how my hand positions just naturally look different from when I was twisting on the other side of my head. So you want to be rolling the hair as you twist to create some height and depth to the twist but you also just want to make sure that you are twisting away from your face okay this is really really important because it really gives it that look that you're probably looking for in the front of your hair and I'm going to repeat that process again. I will say for me, twisting away from my face is actually naturally easier. It just makes things feel a little bit more comfortable. If I had to twist my hair in the opposite direction, it, it just wouldn't work out because it doesn't feel natural to my hands and for my hair. Once you get to this section up here, you do want to add just a little bit more extra jam to your edges and just that is just for the overall sleek look and for it to last all week. I will say with this hairstyle, I did keep it for a full week only because I needed to style my hair for another event. But my hair stayed in place all week. I did not have to reapply any edge control, no gel, no nothing. I literally tied my hair at night, snatched that bad boy off in the morning, and I was ready to go. So in total, I had seven flat twists. You can readjust this number depending on your head size and just what overall look you're going for. What am I? What I'm doing to pin up my hair is I'm literally rolling the twist up, and I'm using my bobby pins. At least one per twist. Sometimes I did have to use another one to literally. It's almost like creating a pin curl, but I'm just rolling them into some type of neat look to have some sort of pin up style. Okay. I will say this part typically can be the most like intimidating for a lot of people but just make sure that you are wrapping the twist so that you can tighten it up and just roll the ends into some type of cute style and sometimes even if you feel like it's just gonna look crazy sometimes it actually turns out looking more natural and uniform than you probably can imagine so you got to get another mirror or go in the bathroom so that you can see the back of your head just do that because all I'm literally doing is rolling the ends up as if I'm creating a pin, cur pin curl and I'm just gathering them together. And voila, you have this simple pin up do that was not fancy at all. I am going in with some edge booster just to give my edges just a little sleek look. On this particular night, even though I was getting over my sickness, um, Stefan and I still uh, wanted to celebrate our first year anniversary, you guys. So I was adding just a little extra pizzazz to my hair. If you have some extra hole holding spray or oil sheen, whatever you like to use, go ahead and add that right on top because this is going to make sure everything stay into place. And of course, you all know me by now that I love this little black scarf, okay? And no hairstyle is final until we tie it up, let everything sit in place and mold to my head and lay down those extra frizzes. After about 10 to 20 minutes, I am ready to take it off because we are ready to step out and look at that. It just looks like a whole new finish. I absolutely love this style. I hope you all will too. If you try it, please let me know. If you also like flat twist hairstyles, also drop that in the comments. But as always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. See ya.